oh, I cannot forget about this thing. I have got to tell you about this. I found this out like two years ago and it's been a game changer. All right, so sewing rooms. That's a, it can be a hot mess in a hurry. Actually, hold on. That is definitely on the list of things to talk about. But yeah, sewing rooms can be a hot mess in a hurry. And it, it should be an inspiring, motivating, of course, functional space. But you know, we all have our limitations, budget and space and time. And you just want to get in there and make all the goodies and do all the things that make it smile. But you need to have a space to sew in. And I know all about that because my very first spaces putting together were back when I was in college. And I didn't have anything of anything. Like I didn't have any space or money or time or so I just needed to be able to get in and get out and I've learned sorry I still don't I still don't have enough space and that's okay but I have learned over the years I college was a good mm, coming up on about 15 years now I'm 34 so um yeah I have learned a bit over the years but there have been some like common threads ah, common threads that have emerged <laughs> <laughs> I'm really fun at parties. And so in this video, we're going to go over them. That way you can take them, run with them, make them your own, hopefully get some inspiration and motivation to do the same so you can have more of a functional space, you know, that way you can create all the things that you want to create, okay? So this is my own little corner. Every time I say that, I think of the song, that little bit of the song. In my own little corner. My own little corner. <laughs> Here I am doing the best I can with what I got and I am grateful for what I have because I have gone through phases of life without a sewing room and or a sewing space. Room is a bit generous. Um, but I've gone through uh, periods of my life without a sewing space and they are not so much fun. So one common thing that has emerged is I like to have be surrounded by my like little tables as much as possible. So the idea of like one long table, I'm not entirely a fan of. I like the more U-shaped thing. And I guess you could, it's kind of like a, they have a thing in kitchens, right? Where it's like a triangle. You've got like the refrigerator, the cooktop, and the sink. And uh, when you talk about having efficiency in kitchens, they talk about having that being a triangle. And I guess it's kind of similar here where you have whatever your machines, your iron and just like your workspace. And so you're not having to, you know, go here and there. You can just be right here. Does that make sense? <laughs> and do your thing. So I wish I had a cutting table. I had a monstrous cutting table in one of my sewing spaces and that was, oh my gosh, one day I will have the, I have it in my mind of like the epic sewing space. Don't we all, don't we have that epic sewing space in our mind where we dream of all dreams? I've got her and one day I hope to build her. But until then, we are being grateful. So I've got, um, my industrial machine, I've got videos on it. I really don't want to go over it. If you want to see the videos, go see the videos. But um, I kind of got burned, to be honest with you, by making videos on that topic. So we're just going to move along. But yeah, you're going to need to have a sewing machine if you want to do machine sewing. Like I said, fun at parties. <laughs> okay, then. Now, in this little corner... Um, because I have an industrial machine, it only does straight stitches, so that was supposed to like come up all slick like, you know, hold on one second. Oy. I guess I need more space, but this is my second machine because I, you know, heirloom sewing, they're just decorative stitches, and sometimes you just need a zigzag, and for all of the reasons of not having a, like, for all the other stitches and not a straight stitch, this is, this is my machine for that. So, that's enough about that. I, I appreciate, okay, what am I trying to say? I'd rather not go into machines. I don't know anything about them, 
If somebody takes my advice, they buy a machine, they're unhappy with it, I don't want that scenario to happen. So I have already done videos, like I said, I've already lived and learned them, but they're already on live on the YouTubes. So I'm just gonna let them live and uh, not make any more videos on that topic though. So those are my machines. Uh, if you want a sewing machine, go check out another another source to get information about that because uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna find that here. Anywho, so. Going along, staying inspired and motivated and all the things. I love this lamp. I love clicking it on. I love the sound. I, I think it's beautiful. I, I enjoy candles. Don't mind, I've got, I like to keep, <laughs> it's not so much that I like to keep it, but they're very handy to have right here, these uh, lenses for my camera, since I do do the YouTubes. And depending on what, you know, if I'm trying to get something up close or something far away, or like right now, I've got the wide angle on. It's, it's a whole thing, but that's that's not a, a sewing machine topic. And I just have, okay, so this, this is cool. This is a jar of just tiny little lace scraps. Too small um, to use even on like on a doll or on a little scrap quilt. They're just itty bitty scraps. I think they're really pretty and I'm like, stuff adds up. And then it'll just be this pretty, am I weird to think that? It'll just be, like, be this pretty. Sorry, let me put this camera down, it's getting heavy. But yeah, I was thinking like, it'll be a pretty thing of lace. Is that weird? I don't know. Possibly. Then I've got some Cafe de Mon. Not because I think their coffee is, it's okay. It's nothing crazy, but I think the cans are really cool. So there they are for organizing. I, oh my goodness, to have a notebook handy. Now this happens to be, you know, branded. <laughs> But I love to have an upper candy. I have several in rotations depending like, you know, at the office or at my sewing space or at just wherever because I'm one of those people that I live and breathe with lists and I've got to get it out of my mind so I don't forget it, especially after having four little ones and sleep deprivation and all that sort of stuff. It, it, the struggle is real. So I write everything down. I don't leave anything to chance and uh, leave anything to my memory. And that's that. Um, then I've got what I call like the prime real estate, especially the smaller your sewing spaces. But really, even if I had bukus and bukus of space, which I do not, even if I did, these are like the things I would want right by me and I don't want everything right by me, right? I want it to be, this is more messy than I, and I'm not thrilled about it, but I am trying just to, it's all good. You know, um, anywho, um, yeah. This is the space right by you. You want to keep it, at least for me, as decluttered as possible. So I call it like the primary estate. I got just my, the organizations of things that I, I grab all the time. And if I don't grab it a lot, then it's going somewhere else. <laughs> because this is like, I don't want any more eye clutter than is already here. But I've got a number of containers. They're all acrylic, so you can see through them. And then they're just like one less thing. I was trying to eliminate the eye clutter. I've got the thing of threads up here. I have this dress that Daisy wore. It's an old fashioned baby gown. I have tutorials on it. Um, Farmhouse Fabric has a kit for it. I just think it's pretty. It's pretty, it makes me smile. I have it hung on this pretty hanger and I think that's fun and I think things should be Yes, functional in your space and you know, cause you want to be able to actually put together the ideas in your head and the garments and whatever, but they also just be pretty. And so I say it all the time. People will say, well, I don't have a baby to sew for, but I would love to sew. If you would love to sew, there shouldn't be no but, okay? It shouldn't be, I would love to sew baby gowns, but I have no baby. So, sew baby gowns. If it makes you happy, it makes you happy, right? Like go for it. Um, so this is that in action. It makes me happy. Um, Yes, I made it for a baby at the time, but I was making baby gowns long before we had babies because it just made me happy. Anywho, this right here is a hot mess. It's kind of like my equivalent of the kitchen counter space where you come in with your mail and your keys and you plop them down. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But this is kind of that space for me right here. Um, what else? Oh, I cannot forget about this thing. I have got to tell you about this. I found this out like two years ago and it's been a game changer. But before that, 
Something that was a common thread in all of my sewing spaces, especially the ones that like make me really happy, is to be centered around a window. If that's an option, I love to have a window. So I want my sewing machine so that I'm my back is not to a door. That way people can't scare me because I'm being so scared. And I, I just jump easy. And then I love to have a window, you know, especially here in the mountains. The fresh air is lovely. And I open that window time to hear the birds with the fresh air and all the things, right? I mean, what else? Oh, I have a bin down here. This is a bin that does not get any food. Well, I mean, I don't eat in my sewing room, so there's that. But it's like, you know, for whatever, fabric cutoffs and things of that nature. And I love to have the big bin because I can have it big enough so I have fabric cutoffs from a couple different projects going at once. And that way, if like I just need to have a little bit of a scrap fabric from, you know, maybe like I need a, a cuff or, you know, or a placket strip, I'm like, oh, I just need something from that fabric. And here I have a little scrap and I can just cut it from, right? Or maybe I want to do covered buttons or you get what I'm trying to say. So there's that. I love my power tower down here. I've had that for three or four years. Who knows? Time flies and then you realize it's marching across your face. <sighs> but I like that tower, power tower because it takes up a um, you know floor space, which is critical in my little sewing corner. It takes up very little floor space, but it has a ton of outlets. Sorry. It has a ton of outlets and those include USB ports, which is really nice. What else? Hmm, what else would you guys want to know about? I suppose I should tell you about the secret, right? Okay, here's my game changer. We gotta come down here. All right, do you see my chair? Do you see these wheels? These wheels have been an absolute game changer because I would, and you can see, they are covered, like they've got all sorts of thread. I do not take any time. I am uh, trying to maximize my time and efficiency because of all the things that I want to do, right? Which is fine. It's a good goal. It's a good mission to have. This helps me out because I do not take the thread out. And it used to be the situation would be that I would, you know, I would, even though I tried to get all the threads and my trash can, they just don't all go in. And so then you reel them over and you get this big old glob and you do that for a while and you keep on doing that because you just want to sew pretty things and then you, one day your chair just stops. Right? We've all been there. Your chair stops and then you've got to stop your life and stop making pretty things to do something like this. And that's not a task I want to spend my time doing. So I've never taken the thread out of this and they've never stopped. Not yet. Knock on wood. So, I've had them for about three years. They're like these rollerblading. And I remember when I first got them, I would slip slide all over the place because it they just, they just go. They just go. And so now they still go just fine even though they've got thread all in them. Love these suckers. They are listed on my Amazon storefront along with a bunch of other things that I have in my sewing space. I'm just going to awkwardly end the video here. Let me just get off the floor. <laughs>